Back to the islands this week and back to the big guns. Keep watching. Yes, hello, welcome back. It's got a ukulele review day. As ever, this is the summary video review. If you have a look at the link below each review video, that'll take you back to the website where you'll get a lot more information about what it is I'm talking about. This just condenses that. You'll also see some links down there below the video which take you to places that you can donate to help keep this site going because I don't get paid by the brands to do this, so I rely on my viewers being very, very supportive in keeping Gonna Get Ukulele going. That's what these people have done. Thank you so much to them. You you can also help out by subscribing, hit the subscribe button, and ring the bell, you'll get notified of new stuff coming your way. Okay, this is the last in a little series I've been doing of just some stellar instruments. I mean, I'm not trying to get ahead of myself with the review here, but when you see this, you'll know what I mean. And I have to say also that this is there's probably quite a lot of uh, subjectivity in this review, because I've gone on record saying this is probably one of my favourite ukulele brands. I've reviewed several of them, I own one. Let's just get into it. This is the Canalea K1B Baritone. Um, the K1 series are effectively their standards. Um, standards, um, you know, they've, they've got these platinum lines and special edition stuff, but the K1s are the standards. They come in the absolute standard, which is the base level, which is a satin coat, or the deluxe, which uh, have a gloss and use more select woods. And this is one of the deluxes, as you can see from the gloss. It's just simple, but beautiful. I love Canalea looks. All solid Hawaiian koa, naturally, um, in this sort of modern swoopy shape that they have. There's quite a lot of stripe going on in this and some flaming as well. Two pieces on the top, two pieces on the sides. They're really nice and interesting as well and a really nice book march, two-piece back. Hawaiian koa, really, really nice. Very responsible brand Canalea as well, whilst they use a lot of Hawaiian koa, they plant a lot of Hawaiian koa too, so trying to keep it as sustainable. Just beautiful, big gun, this one, baritone, as I say. The bridge is made of ebony in the typical Canalea style, incredibly tidy, often mimicked, but they got that, they did this first. With little wooden uh, ebony, I think, uh, bridge pins. The saddle is compensated on the top. Uh, they don't, uh, the material isn't specified, but I think if it's anything like their others, it's new bone. Finished in a wonderful gloss. Canalea are renowned to be some of the best glosses in the ukulele world and musical instrument world for that matter i mean it's real proper deep not thick but really wonderful deep shine it's a uv clawed cured gloss this is so light as well we'll come on to the weight in a moment but it's light also because this uses the canalea true r bracing again often mimicked but this is the latest incarnation of that it's about taking weight out of the uh, braces by putting that, that, that sort of lattice work into them um, and that's on all of the braces I really don't want to knock this instrument uh, but you can see it here as well um, and it just makes for an extremely resonant instrument they've done it for years but they're, they're constantly refining it and making them lighter and lighter and lighter the curt thing is notched and reversed very very tidy no mess inside there at all the neck is specified as South American mahogany it's all in one piece, carved down, lovely, lovely Hawaiian profile, 38 mil nut, nice and uh, flat on the back, 30 mil from D to E. Headstock, that's the usual Canalea headstock, always like that, uh, not a crown, uh, faced in more ebony with the Canalea logo inlaid in pearl in the top there. The tuners I thought were going to be Grovers, um, they may be Grovers, they're actually branded with the Canalea name. I wonder whether they got Grover to build them, make them for them and put that name on them. Anyway, they are, I can't tell them apart from Grovers, and may as well be, small black buttons. This comes with some clear nylon strings with two wound for the uh, bass strings and also comes with a wonderful quality padded gig bag. That's a really nice padded gig bag as they go. Price, I suppose this is my gripe about Canalea and, and, and I understand that the prices in the Western world are, well the whole world are rocketing, cost of materials is rocketing, cost of transport is rocketing. 
when I got my Canalea tenor, it cost me under a thousand pounds. This is £1,999. They've really gone up in price. Now, maybe I'm being unfair in talking about that, but it just is a lot of money. <laughs> anyway, really, really light build. I couldn't believe it when I weighed this one. This is 690 grams. I played lots of tenors that are heavier than that. It feels light as a feather. And <laughs> it's like a drum, like an absolute drum. Okay, another one that I can't do justice to. Have a look at the videos on Southern Ukulele Store who very graciously loaned me this one. Because Alex can play this very nicely. Outstanding. And the sustain is outstanding. It's, it's just. drummer's instrument but that's really that's like an acoustic guitar Stuff like this doesn't need reviews from people like me. <laughs> Stuff like this is just outstanding. Um, that's a wonderful sounding instrument. The build is superb. Everything is superb about it. Am I being too um, biased there because I'm a big fan? You tell me what's wrong with it. The only thing that people can really raise an eyebrow to, I think, is the price. And even then, I think you're going to have to try and justify why that's a problem because you know, you only have to look at the cost of all sorts of things now. The cost of butter in the UK has gone up by 40%. It is a lot of money, but you know it's wonderfully made. That sound, it doesn't need me to sort of go on and on about what sort of sound it is. It is incredibly rich, like Koa usually is. It's got incredible sustain. Lots of range right across the range. Um, not muddy, just really, really nice. You, you heard it. I can't do the playing justice. You heard it. The Canalaire K1B Deluxe Baritone Ukulele, made in Hawaii, all solid Hawaiian koa. What's not to like? What's not to like? Thank you, Southern Ukulele Store, again, for loaning me such a really nice instrument. Um, bit too rich for my blood, I'm afraid, now, Canalaire, but, uh, you know, th these just sell so quickly because so many people recognise how good they are. Okay. We're getting back down to earth uh, going forward in the next few weeks. I've got quite a lot of stuff coming, some very nice stuff coming as well, some more general stuff, some more stuff that you can get from Amazon. So back into the land of the living. Um, and I hope you enjoy those as well. Thank you for your ongoing support. Um, and uh, be good to each other in the week ahead. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.